Just two days to go until the Euros all starts. Germany have been hit with a bit of a blow actually today. Let's go live to Florian Plettenberg right now. Uh, Florian, uh, tell us why Bayern Munich midfielder Alexander Pavlovich has had to pull out of the squad. Yeah, he was in the squad against uh, Greece on Friday and then uh, Julian Nagelsmann has given them two days free. And in this time, yeah, he has received uh, an illness, an infection again. He had the same problem in March when the German national team played against France and against the Netherlands. And um, now he was not part of the squad in the recent or in the last days. And now Julian Nagelsmann, he has decided and he has spoken to Pavlovich not to be part of the Euros. He is not lo he's no longer in the squad because of this infection. And now there's a new nomination uh, with Emre Can, the captain of Borussia Dortmund. He's now with the team. Pavlovich is out. Emre Can is now new in. Yes, Emre Chan added. Uh, now, but Florian Wirtz and Jamal Musiala have been speaking at the news conference today. I believe they were talking about playing together at some stage in their career. Is that right? Yeah, it was uh, very funny. We have to say uh, our, our big Jews, our big diamonds, uh, superstars, they have the potential to be the superstars of the, of the Euros. And uh, they were asked about the possible future together in a club. And Florian Wirtz, the superstar from uh, Bayern Ulfe Leverkusen, he said, why not? And I have to be honest, uh, we are joking about uh, the possibility to play for a team one day together uh, because we have a good connection on the pitch. And uh, Florian Wurz would love to see, to spend more time with Jamal Musiala in the future in the same club, not only in the German national team. And then I have asked uh, Florian Wurz, yeah, in which uh, team, FC Bayern or Real Madrid? And he said, ah, that's, uh, I don't have the English word, but he said, ah, that's a difficult question. I think he was using another word, but he said, ah, it's difficult to answer. And he said, yeah, Jamal is still playing at Bayern Munich. Let's see. Uh, right now, we both feel very comfortable in our clubs. Mudiala with FC Bayern, Florian Wirtz with Real Madrid. We have to say at this stage, we have uh, heard and we have clearly the information. There are no pre-agreements between the management of Florian Wirtz his parents and Wirtz and Real Madrid. No pre-signings, no agreements about a possible transfer in 2025, but he's on the list of Real Madrid, of Manchester City, of Bayern Munich. But the question is, who can pay the price? The demand is around 130, 130 million euro for a transfer of Florian Wirtz next summer. And uh, that makes the chances very slim for FC Bayern Munich in summer 2025. Uh, OK, interesting. Well, oh, talking of moving clubs and transfers, let me ask you about a few names. Benjamin Sesko, he's been linked with a move to the Premier League, but new contract for him? Sounds like he's not going anywhere. Absolutely. He will stay at RB Leipzig this season. Uh, as we have reported, uh, RB Leipzig was pushing a lot to extend the contract with new details, with new clauses, and right now he did it. He has signed a new contract with RB Leipzig. He will not join to Arsenal. He will not join to a club like Chelsea or Manchester United this summer. So he will not join a club in the Premier League. He will stay for one more season in the Bundesliga. And, and what about uh, other players potentially uh, coming in as well? Levi Colwell, someone who we're told uh, Bayern Munich may have an interest in? Absolutely. Right now we have to say Bayern Munich is in contact with Bayern Ulfe Leverkusen in order to complete the signing of Jonathan Tah, the German national centre-back right Footed. To sign him has the main priority uh, to our understanding. Bayern is willing to pay around 20 until 25 million euro for a transfer right now with one year left on Jonathan Tah's contract situation. Leverkusen at this stage, they demand around 40 until 45 million euro for a transfer from Tah to Bayern. Now we have to say Pinica Harvey, the agent of Jonathan Tah, he knows how to bring players from A to B. This is also something to do with Levy Kobel. We have revealed that on Friday he's definitely on the list. There were definitely talks between FC Bayern and the players' camp. Left foot, 21 years old, FC Chelsea, centre-back. He's on the top of the list with some other names of FC Bayern as Vincent Kompany has a big, big, big opinion, a positive opinion about uh, Kobel. 
And we got the information today, FC Bayern remain in contact with the players' camp because there is no agreement at this stage between Bayern and Leverkusen because of TAR. And I cannot exclude that Bayern will push for Koble in addition to Jonathan Tarr. Now we have to look on the situation of Matthijs de Licht, the centre-back. We have revealed that as well. He can leave FC Bayern this summer with a suitable offer. He has a contract, but Bayern is ready to listen for offers. And uh, I can really imagine, I can really imagine that Manchester United with Eric Ten Hag will keep an eye on the situation of Matthijs de Licht in summer.